This is a video we put together to show how we design a magnetic shield using proprietary modeling software. So the first thing that we do is bring in the magnet. Kind of move that around a little bit. Now these are all pre-built, so this obviously takes a lot less time than it normally would. But you don't want to sit through one of our modeling sessions. This is the room, the magnet room, obviously. Equipment room next to it. And we'll just, for purposes of viewing, we'll just take the ceilings off of these so that we can see what we're doing. I'm going to put the uh, pieces of equipment into the equipment room. Uh, let's see, there we go. Each of these has to be built one at a time, which can be tedious, but the outcome is pretty good. So there's the equipment. Now we'll put in the doors and windows, or at least make an attempt to do so. Let's see. There's the view window, the door. Uh, let's see, that's the penetration panel. And then the penetration panel on the other side, or the hole for the penetration panel, I should say. And then finally, the door for the equipment room. Now that just places them. Now we'll cut that hole so that we can actually see what it looks like. And might as well do the penetration panel as well, both sides we are. There's the magnet room, equipment room with the doors, windows, and the equipment. And then the most important part of magnetic shielding is the steel. So now we have to bring that in. And we use green just because that's kind of the default color that everyone uses for steel. This particular magnet it's a 1.5 GE, so you needed steel on the back wall. And because of the angle, steel was not necessary, as you can see here in this area, because of the gauss lines just don't go through there. And I'll, in a, another video later on, I'll show the gauss lines, how they actually react with and without the steel. Uh, the toe plate or the floor plate here is, is necessary because the magnet sits low to the ground. The ISO center sits low to the ground. So without this toe plate or floor plate, the gauss lines will sneak out underneath and end up out in the public area. So that's why that has to be there. And really, that's it. Uh, I wish that it was this easy, but it takes quite a bit more of work to so this is the final model, and uh, this is the model showing the five gauss line being contained within the room. Uh, appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed the video.